Today is December 6, 2024. On December 6, 2016, researchers at UC Berkeley unveiled Salto, a wall-jumping robot recognized for its exceptional vertical agility. My name is Nicodemus, and welcome back to the Disruptive Technologies Podcast. Europe's progress in AI adoption is facing delays due to regulatory uncertainty, and this uncertainty could cost the region up to 600 billion euro in economic gains by 2023. Amazon Web Services has pointed out the lack of clear guidelines for AI systems as a major issue. Businesses are often left confused and hesitant as a result. This problem is affecting companies of all sizes. Big companies are slowing down, but small and medium-sized businesses are also being held back. These smaller businesses could otherwise lead in AI innovation. According to AWS, 21% of European businesses see compliance and legal ambiguities as barriers to adopting AI. For companies already using multiple AI technologies, this number rises to 45%. This uncertainty is reducing investment in digital technologies. Hesitant companies plan to spend 48% less on these technologies over the next three years compared to more confident peers. Businesses need to navigate overlapping laws such as the EU AI Act, GDPR, and the EU Copyright Directive. This complex web of rules slows growth and discourages innovation. Clear regulations make a substantial difference, as seen in other regions. In Kansas City, Vanessa Jupe's business, Leva, demonstrates how AI can scale operations and personalize services. You see, Leva uses AI to create tailored content for new mothers, covering needs like breastfeeding, formula feeding, or preparing to return to work. In California, Antoinette Vanasek's insurance company uses generative AI to streamline operations. It helps handle customer questions and builds chatbots for inquiries about group health plans. These examples show how businesses thrive when they can focus on innovation without dealing with unclear regulations. For small businesses, AI offers them its potential. Research shows that one in four small businesses in the U.S. are already using generative AI. Nick Tremper, an economist at Gusto, mentions that AI tools free employees from repetitive tasks. This allows them to focus on more valuable work. Amy Reed from the Texas Gulf Coast Small Business Development Center adds that small businesses are improving how they use AI. They refine their approaches and achieve better results over time. By contrast, Europe risks falling further behind. Its regulatory complexity and delays are creating self-imposed challenges. These discourage the innovation that's needed to stay competitive globally. The EU could learn from the UK's more flexible, growth-oriented regulatory approach. This approach balances safeguards with progress. As AI becomes more essential, Europe's hesitation could result in missed opportunities. These missed opportunities would affect both businesses and the overall economy. To unlock AI's potential, Europe needs to clarify which systems fall under regulation. It needs to simplify the compliance process and make its frameworks more responsive. Without quick action, businesses remain hesitant, investments will decline, and Europe could lose its place in the global AI race. Even small businesses are advancing and innovating with AI, and the EU must act now to avoid falling behind. And that's that for that. If you enjoyed this episode, don't forget to like, follow, and subscribe. It really helps us reach listeners just like you. Thank you for listening to this episode of the Disruptive Technologies Podcast. We'll see you next time.